Good afternoon from Bush's Museum and Cafe. My name is Ryan. And I'm Bree. And on today's adventure, we're going to bring you to the cafe, show you the menu, and bring you to their free museum to show you what it's like, give you a little walk through the store, and to show you this as a great low-cost option to come get a bite to eat here in the Great Smoky Mountains and tour a free museum. So without further ado, roll, roll that, that beautiful, beautiful bean, bean footage. <laughs> To show you what the address is so you can plug it in your GPS and see how far it is from where you will be staying. But from the Dolly Parton statue in downtown Sevierville, about 24 minutes, and from the island in Pigeon Forge, it's about a 33 minute drive. We're going to make the drive over and are looking for other things to add to your plans for the day. You might want to check out Forbidden Caverns and Smoky Mountain Deer Farm, both are great experiences, and I'll put links to those experiences in the description of this video, but let's head on into the cafe and museum. You can see the Bushes factory across the street. Now you can't actually tour the factory, but you can tour this free general store and museum that's open 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Before we go tour the museum with you guys, we're gonna go to the Bushes Best Family Cafe. This opens at 11 a.m. so just opened, let's go inside and check out their menu and order some food. So we just got here at 11 when the cafe opens. Just wanna give you a look at what it looks like. You've got all sorts of classic photos around the cafe of the original Bush family. You have the Bush's Best logo over here on the wall. A little area to come sit up with some high top seating. And we're gonna sit over here. You can see some of their specials up here. Special for today, loaded baked potato with Southwest zest bean. Number of homemade pies available. And the bean of the day is zero sugar added baked beans. There's always a different bean of the day, which is what we were just brought. So let's go try the bean of the day. Micah's trying it out. Is it good, Micah? Hannah says she likes it too. So perhaps a great option for a diabetic looking to enjoy Bush's beans with zero added sugar. When you do come in, the kids get some crayons and a picture of Duke they can color. And on the other side, a word search. Table placement gives you a little rundown on the Bushes company. We've been coming here for years and always enjoyed this cafe. Here's a look at their menu. Got a number of down-home deli sandwiches from a hearty half-pound burger, grilled chicken, Reuben, a Rachel. Hannah's gonna get a toasted BLT. She always enjoys that. Pulled pork barbecue, chestnut, hill, hot dog, which is technically the area we're in right now. Southern fried bologna. They do have a couple of cold sandwiches. They have some heartwarming favorites, including a number of different bushes, beans. They have some entrees, including chicken tenders, barbecue platter, meatloaf platter, catfish, which I've gotten many times before, I have always enjoyed and some country fried steak for $11.99. They have a number of fresh salads available and a whole bunch of different sides, including numerous Bush's products, coleslaw, green beans, fried okra, which I've always enjoyed here, mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, and much, much more. You're welcome to pause the video and see their sides. And they have a number of Southern sweets and ice cream specialties, including pinto, bean, pecan pie, or pecan pie, however you say it. Some homemade pie by the slice. That Smoky Mountain hot fudge brownie sundae sounds pretty good. Some hand dip milkshakes. You can get ice cream in a cup or cone sundaes or banana split. Drinks, coffee, milk, 
sweet or that abominable unsweet iced tea? Who drinks that stuff? Bree does. What? Drink unsweet iced tea. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah's got sweet tea. That's my southern gal. I did want to show you the kids' menu, their little bean sprouts menu, as they call it. It includes one entree below, one side, and a 12 ounce fountain drink. They say ages 10 and under, but this is $5.49 each. You can get some little hamburger sliders, a gooey grilled cheese, a chicken little, corn dog, or mac and cheese. So very reasonably priced kids meals. Great deal. So we actually got to try their uh, bean of the day. It's not even available in stores yet. It's coming January 2023. So that's kind of exciting. So this is the cafe salad. It's $5.99 and it's huge. As you can see, it comes with crackers, dressing. So we got a side of French fries for Mike and I to share because he wanted two sides. He got a BLT and he got coleslaw. And look at the amount of bacon <laughs> on this thing. It's like half a pound of bacon. Amazing. Hannah got a BLT. Wait, oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that I've bacon. Never gotten this much bacon. <laughs> it's a dream. With fries. Grandma got a cafe salad. We got some chicken tenders here. Came with two sides and a roll. And it was uh, $13.99. Really good deal for all the food you get. All right, well, let's take a moment to thank God for our food. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. The manager just came by to check on us. Everyone's enjoying their food. Everything is really good with lots of bacon. Mm. I've been trying the chicken tender. It's very good, very well cooked. Everything's not overly breaded, not undercooked, overcooked. Everything's just very well done here. Well, the food was great. We had a lot of extra food, so they gave us some take-home boxes. We got our receipt that we're gonna bring up here and pay for our lunch. Our total for lunch for all five of us was $62 and change. It's November, they still have some pumpkins out. They always decorate for whatever season it is. Again, you can see the actual factory across the street and this little house right here is the original bush family house that they do open up for a couple of days in december that you can go inside it that they have decorated for christmas so i'll try to come back here when they do open it up next month and show you guys what the house is like all decorated for christmas time before we go inside the museum, I thought I'd show you. You got the classic truck over here. Lots of great little photo opportunities, including these two little cutouts that you can come take a picture at. So you can see the exit right here. We're gonna walk around the building to their entrance. If you are enjoying this video, do us a huge favor and hit that thumbs up button down below and consider subscribing to support our efforts to make more videos just like this. Well, thank you, ma'am. You have some restrooms once you come in here. It's a classic style store that I'll show you a couple items in after we go through the museum. This is a free museum. There's no cost for entrance. We're gonna give you a couple highlights of what it's like to come in here. There's a number of different interactive videos and it tells you the story of how this was the original location of the Bush family store, which eventually became Bush's Beans. And so the story of how it became Bush's Beans, how it started as a canning company and they canned all sorts of different products so you can walk through here at your own pace. You can see all sorts of things that transport you back in time, like this old school kitchen. And they also have this theater that you can just walk in and watch a video that teaches you all about the history of the company and how beans are made here. Where they enter a steam chamber. They move up and down as they travel through. Okay. We've watched the movie before. It's actually 
pretty interesting and educational for kids to learn how beans are canned and the whole process. We're gonna come up the ramp here. As I'll point out, this is wheelchair accessible. You could weigh yourself in beans. Let's see how much does Micah weigh in beans. Micah would be 66,000 beans. Hop on with me. Together we would be 228,000 beans. So it's kind of fun to do. You can hop on individually or as a family. You can see locked away is the Bush's secret family recipe that Duke the dog throughout their years of commercials is always trying to find a way to sell. You can see a prop up here of the flying pig. It's from one of their commercials. We continue on up through the museum. There's lots of interactive elements for kids to come up. Things that they can actually touch and spin. So it is a family friendly free museum that you can come and learn about how beans are canned, how they're made, where they come from, the history of the company, and all sorts of interactive elements, even this one over here. So this is great for kids to come and spin the wheel, which brings the balls all the way up, and how they wash the beans, and the whole process is kind of fun to do here. Got a giant can, which is great for a photo. Micah found an interactive pantry here. So they're looking for Duke the dog, which he'll stick his head out. And if Micah can catch Duke the dog, a puzzle comes out. So we're waiting for Duke the dog. Keep an eye out, Micah. He's gonna stick his head out eventually. Oh, can you get him? Can you get him? You got him. Yeah, we got Duke the dog. He, he, there he is, see? He pokes his head out every so often. It's like a Where's Waldo, but it's Where's Duke. I'll give you guys at home a chance to scan through. Can you see Duke the dog? Where is he, Mike? That's a fun little scavenger hunt if you can spot Duke the dog when he pokes his head around the beans, tap on him and you get a little Where's Waldo puzzle. That's kind of fun for kids of all ages. And Bree actually told me that there's something else really neat you can do with this interactive map. So I'll let her explain it. I've come up here and I'm gonna pick a can of beans. I'm gonna touch it. And it opens up for me, tells me a little bit about the black beans, but then I saw that I can actually scan the QR code here, and it pulls open the seasoned black beans, which tells me a little bit about it, and then it also gives me some fun recipes. So I can make black bean tortilla chili, or the one that I want to make is this best black bean salad looks really good. So I just click on that and it tells me the whole recipe right there. The ingredients and everything. So for those who like to cook, you can come get some recipe ideas or try to catch Duke. There he is. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Got him. Oh, oh no. He got All right. Let's see. Can we get him? Waiting. Waiting for Duke. There he is. Get him. There you go. So as you walk around this giant bean, there's little things you can read all about beans. Interesting little facts, like about kidney beans. In this corner, they have some water fountains, some places to sit, a restroom, and some interactive TVs up here. And if we continue on... We are leaving the museum, going to my favorite part, the store. The general store. I love this store. <laughs> they have a lot of really fun stuff in here. So let's go see what we can find. And as we come down this ramp, we come to the store, which has all sorts of beans that you can buy and take home with you. These cans are $1.44, $1.10. 
get some chili beans. This is like uh, Forrest Gump. You got gumbo, shrimp, shrimp, scampi. It's like that, but with beans. And I think this beans. is what we were looking at at the recipe. This is it the right black here. beans? Is so it we're going to grab those. We also really like their chili magic. It's a really good way to start a good pot of chili. So Bree has a shopping cart and is grabbing some beans to stock up on and all sorts of different home goods. And look at this Duke right here in the middle of the store. You gotta love Duke. They have home goods like this, no dogs allowed on the couch. LOL, just kidding. Oh, and a cat version. This was the location of the original A.J. Bush Mercantile when he first opened a store. I love these classic old school fans up above with a pulley system. You could be transported back in time at this store with an old school counter that has a bunch of retro items, including some five cent certified aspirin. Along with puzzles, they've got some neat little classic games and toys for kids. And for $16.99, you can get this stuffed Duke the dog. He's got a little bandana that says Duke on him. For $2.99, you can get yourself this little coin bank with some old school Bushes products. Again, they started canning all sorts of things, not just beans, along with a number of home goods and stuffed animals, puzzles and toys for games. They've got classic Bushes shirts and hats, different merchandise that you can come in here and get. Something we've gotten here many times, which is kind of a unique thing to get. For 50 cents, you can get yourself some mints that look like little cans of beans. These are fun to take home for 50 cents. Well, that wraps up this video at the Bushes Museum and Cafe. I hope you guys have enjoyed joining us. If you have any questions, drop those down in the comments and we'll see you guys on the next adventure. Bye.